32 drivers. Oh, can I have a shout out for Carla Foley watching all the way from Barton upon Humber on her birthday? Come on, Noah Wiles from Two Islands Fishery. Noah Wolf. No, it's coming from. Uh, yeah, yeah, Noah Wolf. Yeah, coming Two Carl Islands. I know what I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> Carla Foley. Hello. Here we go. The grid. Ah, a change. Kit Belofsky and Daniel Sofrea on row one. Noah Wolf and Zach Drummond down on row number two. Mm -hmm. Row three, Henry Domain and Roman Kamyab. Row four, Morgan Moore and Jacob Ashcroft. Row number five, Aston Sharp and Ben Smith. Row six, Will Murtar and Jensen Graham. Row seven, George Edgar and Noah Bagley. And row eight, Archie Levitt and Jesse Phillips. Row nine, Daniel Kelleher and Riley Cranham. Row 10, Henry Carter and Sky Parker. Finley Buck and Harrison Mackey are on row 11. Then it's Zach Green and Timo Youngling on row 12. Row 13, Kenny Scrow and Harley Musk. Row 14, Cooper Snedden and Ethan Woodward. Row 15, Lewis Warrell and Joseph Murphy. 30 drivers watch Werrell in Kart 6. You're holding a piece of paper, Anthony. What does it say, pray tell? Well, it says that the GP plate, no wolf got a five-second time penalty in the pre-final for an incorrectly positioned front fairing, i.e. a nose cone penalty. A nose cone penalty for Wolf. Well, so, story of the season so far. George Edgar won at Shennington in the opening round. Since then, it's been all Zach Drummond. A win at Kimbolton, a double at Lark Hall. Noah Wolf finishing second both times in Scotland. Zach Drummond leads the championship by... Well, at the moment, 48 points over Lewis Warrell who is starting from stone last on the grid. Noah Wolf is now up to fifth place in the championship, came into this round fifth. I mean, it's... it's Zach Drummond has, has got a little bit of control. A lot of, the cha a lot of what happens in the championship will depend on what the number six car, Lewis Warrell, does in this race, in these conditions, compared to the championship leader, number five, Zach Drummond. Drummond starts on the second row of the grid. Warrell starts on the 15th. Lewis Warrell is undoubtedly one of the nicest, most polite young men I have interviewed in karting. He is universally liked by all the drivers. He needs to get a bit nasty now to get up through this field. If he wants to win the British title this year, friend or foe, those drivers, has got to, he's got to get those drivers. I'm not condoning any sort of contact but you know what I mean he's got yeah, to be, he's, yeah, he's, he's he has got to show a level of aggression mm. that has so far kept him on the third and second step of the podium not the top step that is what I'm saying he has got to get those elbows out and go hell for leather keep it clean but he has got to find so the devil within as it were here we go lights are green we're off and racing soft air on the outside of the front row Belofsky, the new Fusion Motorsport signing on the inside of the front row. They all scramble through the first chicane on wet tyres in the rain. And down to hairpin number one. Yeah, good start then from the front row. The 95 pulling away. Kip Belofsky, great start to that race. And down the inside goes Daniel Sofrenay, the 44, taking back second place. There he is. Oh, oh. someone having a bounce around in the background. Uh, a bit of debris falling off that as well. Mm. That looked like to me, potentially, Ben Smith. Uh, well, uh, yeah, possibly. It was uh, Ben Smith there was on the outside there. It was the number 21 uh, cart as well of Noah Baglin. They come out of it. Now, look at the race leader. Mm. Kit Belofsky has absolutely checked out. Now, th now, he is not a threat in the championship, might I add. Kit Belofsky came in to this weekend 14th in the point standings and he is heading up the hill there there is Ben Smith in the number 47 cart and the number 55 of Roman Kamyab chopping and changing positions the three Ollie Roller Motorsport carts the 44 of Sofrané the 42 of Ashcroft and the 65 of Domain they cross the line looking down and already Lewis Warrell from 30th to 20th on lap number one he is six and a half seconds behind race leader Kip Malofsky, and there is Morgan Moore in the number 93 cart uh, going wide as well Oh, blimey, hitting those curves as well. Oh, crikey, they've got to stay off those. They're looking impeccably painful. There we go, 13 and a half minutes, plus that one additional lap. Oh, look at this, four wide on the exit. Oh, oh and who's that pulling off? 55. Oh, Roman Kamyab. 
Roman Camia pulling off. Uh, he's got Macaulay Walsh on the Spanish from this weekend. It's great to have Macaulay back in the paddock. But Roman Camia's final is over. There's George Edgar in the number 17 cart through the Stuart S's. Well, Bolovsky's lead is 2.2 seconds. That is fantastic news for him because he's got clear track all around. Wolf is second. Drummond is third. We've got a Fusion Motorsport. One, two, three, four. Kamiab was fourth. He's now out. So Ben Smith moves into P4. Uh, we've got four Fusion carts leading four Ollie Rowland Motorsport carts. And then another Fusion cart with Aston Sharp in ninth. Morgan Moore runs in tenth. Lewis Warrell is now up to 15th position. So he's gone from 30th to 20th to 15th in the first two laps. Well, let's see if we can keep that momentum up. The six plate fighting strong as there. The GP plate, Remy Cambia, despite the fact that he's pulled over into the Zala circuit, has also been given a five second time penalty for good measure as well. That's a disaster for the young driver. But yeah, like we're saying, it's, it's action all the way through this field. You can see there, Noah Wolf now under pressure from his teammate, Zach Drummond, second and third. There's Daniel Sofrené, the 44, now currently in sixth place. So has dropped back a few positions after he was battling there for second place with Noah Wolf. Uh, something did go awry somewhere along those last couple of laps. But we'll keep an eye on where the number six, Lewis Werrell, is going to be. Like we say, 15th when he crossed the line last time around. Yeah. Let's see where he crosses this time, because I'll be very curious well, to see. Ten places on lap one, five places on lap two. We're about to complete lap number three, and the answer is he's gained two more places. He's now 8.7 seconds behind race leader Kit Belofsky. Belofsky's lead has gone down from two and a half seconds to 1.8 seconds, so Noah Wolf and Zach Drummond are closing in. But behind the top three, there's a big gap back to Ben Smith. In fact, there's only three seconds between... Uh, Smith in fourth place and uh, Warrell in 13th place. There's Lewis Warrell, head down. He is fighting for his championship life here at the moment. He's got to get, firstly, get up and, and try and minimise the points lost to Zach Drummond. And hey, it was 11 minutes to go, changing conditions. If you can get ahead of Zach Drummond, then it's still potentially a championship is on the line. And, you know, we... we, we we have to just say that you know this is you know that, that we're talking about. We don't want to encourage any. It's obviously a non-contact sport. But when I say about you know, Lewis Burrell getting nasty, I just meant that you know sometimes I think it's been he's been accused of just not having the aggression levels you need sometimes to get that race. You've got to stick your nose in and and hope it sticks. You've got to stick your nose in and give the driver you're trying to pass an option. Yeah. You're gonna, uh, which is either the brake pedal or a crash. That nose cone's very wobbly on that 29. Yeah. Well, that that's a Harrison Mackey. Mackey. Uh, he's there in 15th position. Look at this train now. I mean, of, of carts there. We've got there's the number 65 of Henry Domain. He's in fifth position. So this is the fifth, sixth, seventh place battle. Well, Polovsky is now only 1.2 seconds. Ago. So there's the top three. Really, oh, and Noah Wolf on the outside of Zach Drummond. I mean, I mean, they went at it, hammer and tong at Lark Hall. Mm. Now they've got to work together here, even though they may not want to. They've okay. got to work together here to catch Kit Bolofsky. So Alex T, Kit Bolofsky's mechanic, will be uh, pulling his hair out. Oh, no, he won't. He hasn't got any. Um, uh, at, at the front there, I, oh, I'm sorry. I said I wouldn't make fun of Alex T all year, and I was doing really well. But then I just got, I just got away with myself. Uh, Zach Drummond takes second position. But no, uh, Bolofsky still has top spot. Drummond, P2 now. Wolf, P3, then a gap of four seconds nearly. Back to Ben Smith, Henry Domain. Lewis Warrell is up to 10th. So, in the first lap, he gained 10 places. Lap two was five places. Lap three was two places. Lap four was one place. And lap five was two places. He's now gone from 30th to 10th. And he is, ooh, well, the, the gaps are beginning to show. I mean, the top fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, and ninth are all together. There's, the, there's Smith going through your screen. There's the battle, and Werrell is the next guy with a bright yellow rear number plate. Look at this scrap. There's, there's five Oliver... No, there's one Paul Munn racing cart and four Oliver Rowland carts all battling over fifth position, and here comes the number six of Lewis Werrell. Now, now this is what I mean. Now this is where Lewis... He's got his teammates in front of him. They're all his friends. They all like him, but he's got to get his nose up the inside and start making moves pass after pass. Eight and a half minutes to go. This is it. Get through this pack of cards now, Lewis. And the championship potentially is still on. You've got to get up the road to Ben Smith. You cannot now wait. And, uh, you know, you've 
got to get that nose at the inside. There we go. Good. Now, he's got to move across and give the... You've got to give Henry the, the domain, the, the option there. You know, brake pedal or thing. Oh, he's around the outside. He's going to get squeezed. He's going to... And therein lies the problem. Now he's got to fight back. So, and he's looking over and saying, what are you doing that for? There, there we go. Now, yeah, again, that's, that's the way you've got to do it. That's what I want to see. That's what he needs to do. Get across. No contact. Clean as a whistle. But, yeah, wipe the nose of the cards in front of you. That's your line. You know, I'm not a Lewis Merrill. Like, I'm not showing any bias here. But we're trying to explain to the viewers, you know, this is, you know, what the drivers need to do. And this is where, you know, what has been... The, 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 the reason that Lewis has, has done everything apart from win one of these races, now he's showing that aggression. That will call, that will make his mechanic really, really proud to see Lewis just cut, cutting across and saying, right, right, this is my line. If you want to deal with it, you can either break or you can have a crash. Yeah. And they all chose to break. And he is now up into now ninth place. So it's another couple of places gained. He's now ahead of Aston Sharp, so he's actually at eighth position. So he's now got to work on uh, uh, Noah Baglin. Meanwhile, Bolovsky's lead is down to nine tenths of a second. Yeah, so all action still happening at the front of the grid as well. Like you say, yeah, Bolovsky's still leading as we watch the rest of this pack go through. Oh, look at that. Zach Green skating it down the inside there. Again, three wide as they go down the back straight. That's Timo Jungling, I think, is getting a bit of a, uh, a nudge there. A bit of a helping hand from the 27 just behind. Yeah, so Timo Jungling, this is his first real race yeah, on, on, yeah, on, a, on a, on a, on a two-stroke in an yeah. army cart. So he's got an awful lot to get used to. He's doing a good job. Yeah. There's, there's Zach Green on the, the number 53 on the Tony cart. Zach is running in 16th position at the moment. Mm. So that gap now, just one second at the front. Kiplowski going through. Well, no, that, that, that's uh, Ben Smith in fourth place. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then it's well, Ashcroft yeah. in fifth. Morgan Moore, fantastic drive from young Morgan Moore in sixth position. He's a driver that's come on leaps and bounds, Morgan Moore. He's only 18th in the point standings, but I mean, wow, wow. Morgan Moore, a driver last year, Anthony, that we, we barely mentioned because he was, you know, either in the repechages mm. or right at the back. And this year, look at that top 10, and he's showing no signs of slowing down. It's a sixth position. Baglin seventh, Warrell eighth. Yeah, good stuff all the way through. There's still six minutes to go. Ooh, of the, there there plenty is still of plenty of time in this right. I thought we would like two minutes to go. So well, there's so a, much happened a, there's a lot been going on there. Uh, there's number 22 in the 88. That's Archie Levitt uh, in the 88. And Kanish Grau, that's the battle. I mean, this scrap that you're looking at, if 11, Henry Domain is in 11th place in cart number 65. And then all the way back to, well, we've just been watching the battle between Archie Levitt and Kanish Grau. That's for 25th. Incredible. It's great stuff all the way through this pack, isn't it? We always see fantastic racing from the cadet classes. They're so evenly matched in terms of outright pace as well as they go through. It's just it's such good racing that we see from them. Five minutes plus that one additional lap. The gap now less than a second, or it's actually seven tenths of a second between Drummond and Bolovsky as they go through. Here is the 18 on your screen and the 65 down the inside. Henry Domain on William Murtar. Good move there. Yep. Gets it done, but now defensive. Murtar back round the outside. is going to take the long way around. That allows the 18 to go through. Riley Cranham. Good stuff there from Cranham. Looks over the shoulder, says, think. Don't send one down the inside, please. There we go. Line of stern. Everyone, best behavior, please. Oh, he's not going to listen, though, is he? No, well, I mean, Henry doing any easy yet. Yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, as a, as a driver, that's what, you've got, you've got, that's what Cranham, you, that's what you have to do. You, you have to try and sort of, like, yeah, get across the front and then close the door. Yeah. You know, and, and, and without saying it, you know, that, yeah, that, that's communicating to the driver behind. Don't bother. I'm not in the mood. No. And the drivers understand. This, this is the code that drivers go by. You know, they know when a driver is open to, like, you yeah, working together. And they know when a driver is like, no, 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 no. I'm not, I'm, I'm not playing with others today. I, you know, I, I, it, it's, uh, yeah. We, it, that's what, that's the level of aggression. Again, without, without, you know, there's no contact. But that's where you've got to sort of, you know, be that sort of, have that sort of killer instinct of aggression. Mm. Okay, leader, number 95, Kit Bolofsky, is on lap number 11. Four minutes to go. And Zach Drummond and Noel for closing in. It's a Fusion Motorsport, one, two, three at the moment. Bolofsky, this is as close to the leaders as Drummond and Wolf have been. Look, I'm looking back. There's the signal there from the number 18 uh, of Riley Cranham. Passing Henry's been saying, all right, come on, if you follow me through there, even though it was uh, William Murtagh for Fusion Motorsport, I mean, I'm, I'm looking back. So, we, so Drummond has won three in a row at the moment. Last year, in 2020, uh, no, well, no, we had, we had five different winners from six rounds. In 2019, 
well, Harry Burgoyne won three in a row at the end of 2019. Uh, he won at Wigan and he won both finals at Wilton Mill, which is a double header. Uh, Harley Keeble, he won the, defend the eventual champion. He won three in a row. Uh, actually, he started here at Rowra in August 2019 in the double header. Uh, and then he won at the first final, the first final of a double header weekend at, at Three Sisters. Nobody has ever won four in a row in the British Championship in Ayami Cadet. Can Zach Drummond be the first? Not if Kip Belofsky or Noah Wolf have got anything to do with it. Yep, Kip Belofsky there. He did leave the door oh! open there. He slams it close there. That forces Drummond off the track. Wolf goes alongside Drummond now. But my goodness me, that is some very good defensive driving. Or very robust defensive driving, I'll say. But out they go into the final corner. Again, Belofsky still leading the way. Drummond now under pressure from Wolf. Who wants to have a go at this? Side by <laughs> side between those two. Up um, towards the chicane. You know, you know, last night on, on, in the Paddock Show, when we yeah. spoke to Dan Hazelwood for Fusion, yeah. and I said about keeping everyone calm, and he goes, oh, the drivers aren't the problem, it's the parents you've got to worry about. Looking at that, I think he may be wrong. I think, I think, he think, he, I think he's going <laughs> to worry about the drivers, because the, I mean, three of his drivers there, I mean, they, they, that's a podium lockout at the moment, but they are, <laughs> they're, 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 same morning or not, they are not giving it an inch in this one, and uh, you don't want them to actually wipe each other out. Uh, yeah, no, no, that would be suboptimal. That uh, would be very suboptimal sub for Alter. Yes, yes, yes. yes ben indeed. Smith running in fourth place. Ashcroft still runs in fifth. Morgan Moore, superb in sixth. Baglin in seventh. Sofronair in eighth. And Lewis Warrell is sort of, sort of t t um, plateaued out in ninth position at the moment with Aston Sharp tenth. And then a big gap back to the 11th place battle, which involves Zach Green, Henry Domain, Will Murtagh, Riley Cranham, George Edgar, Henry Carter, Daniel Callagher, and Jensen Graham. Hmm. Less than 90 seconds to go. Eyes on this top three. Into the McRae's hairpin. Out they go towards Iredales. Now, big look over the shoulder yeah. from Bolofsky. He's just wanting to know, where is my teammates? Yep. As they come out of the hairpin there. Just... Get ready for a, a, another lunch. No, uh, yeah, no, oh, oh, no go, go, okay, go, go. Okay. Yeah, no, that's what he's saying, yeah. So no oh. defensive driver there. He did still go defensive, though, didn't he? Yeah, he well, yeah, because, because, because Belof's, yeah, okay, Noah Wolf, he's, he's the GP plate holder. Yeah. He's won big events. Oh, yeah. Zach Drummond, you know, he's won the last three finals of the British Championship, so he knows how to win. Kip Belofsky hasn't won a, a, an event at this level. Yeah. You know, so so what, so with 30 seconds to go, he's going to be driving defensive. You know, this is... You know he he has he hasn't learned how to win at this level yet. Is he is he about to learn now? Oh, here comes Noah Wolf and Drummond. Wolf's got the inside line. Oh, Noah, what a slide job going into turn number one. Takes over P2. Great stuff for Noah Wolf. And uh, well, if Zach Drummond, the clock strikes zero now. Next time round, they'll have the last lap board. If Zach Drummond's going to make history and be the first driver to win four IAMI Cadet British Championship rounds in a row, he has got two carts to pass and about a lap and two thirds to do it in. Yep, it's going to be a tough port of call for this one. Oh, oh, look at that. There goes Wolf oh, oh. down the inside of Polofsky. Gets that move done. That was the move that Drummond couldn't do earlier on. Wolf has managed to do it, but now look at Drummond here. He is all over the back of Polofsky once more. Say he's lost a bit of momentum there as they and go. I've got to, and I've, oh, oh, oh. I've got to say, Noah Wolf was not shy about that move down at the Stuart S's, and Kipolovsky was oh. not shy about the move that he tried to get it back. Oh, they pulled oh, it three wide. They're three. Oh, someone go and order some just for men here, Diver Dan Hazelwood at Fusion Motorsport, because he's going to be going greyer than me here in the commentary box. Last lap onto the backs, onto the, the main straight down towards McCray's. It's Belofsky and Drummond, and round the outside, it's Noah Wolf. Oh, goodness me. Uh, oh, I'm going to have heart palpitations by the end of this lap. Here we go, then. Out of McRae's, in towards Iredales they go. Look, Wolf has got the normal line. He's taken the long way round. He get ready for the switchback as they go through. Belofsky runs wide. He's on the dirty stuff. He's now lost one position. Oh, the oh he's got back on. Wolf on the grass. Still, he stayed there. He's still Wheels bashing. Oh. Wheels bashing oh. all the way down the straight. Belofsky holds on to second. Wolf still there in third. My goodness me! Well, he, Noah Wolf did the entire back straight with two wheels on the grass, and he did not lift 
off the accelerator once. That was incredible on soaking wet grass. But Zach Drummond, your championship leader, the first driver to win four in a row, takes the win in a army cadet. Is that a championship ceiling victory for the Scotsman? He won the cadet Honda title last year. Is the cadet I army title potentially within his grasp this year? Kit Belowski, a first British championship podium in second. Noah Wolf, wow, that was a brave last lap from the GP plate holder. He finishes third. Ben Smith, five seconds back in fourth position. It's a fusion. One, two, three, four. Fifth is Jacob Ashcroft. Sixth is Morgan Moore. Seventh for Noah Baglin. Eighth, Daniel Sofronea. Ninth, Lewis Warrell. He made such good progress in the opening few laps. I wonder if he simply just used up a bit too much of his tyres. Uh, again, from 30th to 9th, that is a very good, and again, what we want to see, it's a good, aggressive, yet clean drive from, no, uh, from Lewis Warrell. Aston Sharp rounds out the top 10. That is the third Scotsman in the top 10. Uh, then it is Will Murtagh, Zach Green, Henry Domain, Riley Cranham. Um, George Edgar finishes 15th, then Henry Carter. Timo Youngling is 17th, then Sky Parker and Daniel Kelleher with Ethan Woodward rounding out the top 20 ahead of Finley Buck, Jesse Phillips, Archie Lovett, Jensen Graham, Kanish Grau, Cooper Sned and Harley Musk, Joseph Murphy, and sadly Harrison Mackey and Roman Kamyab failed to finish i mean that that was just superb anthony uh, yeah all the way to the end i mean the comment section on the live chat as well suggests many other people also agreed with uh, that racing at the end yep but uh yeah that was uh, how did all those three drivers finish in first second and third in a straight line uh, incredible yep i mean looking at the virtual championship positions now zach drummond 813 points this is before drop scores yeah uh lewis werrell 754 with two rounds to go i don't know but i mean zach drummond that's that's pff, not nothing is certain but i mean zach drummond has given himself a very healthy advantage heading into the final two rounds at pf international later on this year noah wolf is a bit the third in the points table with 725 points. Henry Domain and George Edgar tied for fourth. Jacob Ashcroft, uh, Dan Sofronea and Kit Belofsky are the remaining top eight drivers in that there. There is a view uh, of the paddock area as the drivers get out. Uh, and oh, oh, this, do you know what I mean? This, oh, well, Henry Domain gives his cart a bit of a kick. He, you know, what? Well, he finished well, finish, well, finish 13th, Henry. Well, he did lose eight positions, so one might surmise that he's a little bit upset. There's uh, one cart. There's, all oh, right, that's pick Andy Potter, uh, manhandling cart, and Ben Moore. Well, I mean, that's uh, the, the cart, one of the fusion carts going backwards. I think maybe Ben Smith realized he's not used to finishing the top four, so he drove back to where he normally drives and then you think they went no 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 we want to scrutineer that one so uh, Andy Potter who was a uh, Lando Norris's mechanic in karting just literally picks at the back end of the car with one finger poor Ben Moore the scrutineer having to carry the front end there as <laughs> Andy Potter like you know literally under under his shoulder tr takes the cart all the way uh, back to the uh, where the scrutineering area is those are the carts in the holding pen they're not allowed to leave just yet until they're told to so the drivers have got to stay there uh, already one uh, smart driver has got a fusion umbrella and uh, he stays dry and one of his mates has decided oh I, hello i'm going to stand under there there's marion fell uh wife of circuit owner malcolm well, Mary who runs helps run the circuit who owns the circuit in the middle there just having a look for certain race numbers uh, oh that, i want that car that, oh that one there that one that one who, who belongs to that car number 25 25 number 25 Sky, where are you? Come, come, come to your cart, Sky. Sky, where are you? Where, uh, come on, come on. Don't run away. There we are. Here she comes. Uh, now, who else is next? Right, you. I'm going to have a let's point there now. Right, right, there you go. Now, now sit in your go-kart. No, we need you. What? 
Oh, I didn't do anything. I want to go there and stand and chat to my mechanic. Now, at the back, at the background there, on the right, the far right hand of your screen, uh, you have got uh, some of the Arlie Rowland Motorsport team. Now, it was Shane McFadden's birthday uh, yesterday. Uh, we were having dinner in the hotel, <coughs> and Shane and a deputation of Arlie Rowland Motorsport mechanics were heading out for a couple of celebratory beverages. I won't mention any names. However, I will mention the fact, because he disappeared from our paddock walk last night when he said he was going to... Colin Brown had a spectacular pink jumper on. It matched very well with his tan, which is a, a nice, I, I think they call it Oompa Loompa Orange, and, and, a, and a very, very bright pink shirt. So there we go. But I mean, I mentioned no names otherwise. <laughs> I did see them this morning. They were all in bed, tucked up nice and early. Now, this Thorpe Marion's still looking for some drivers in carts. Oh, she is pointing right now. Where are you? Oh, that's Zach Green. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. I'm going to sit down on my cart. And uh, now the, the mechanics of the background. So there, the trolleys will be moved up to go and collect them. There is, you can see the number six plate cart, the tall driver there, Lewis Warrell, uh, in, with his clear wetsuit on. Um, he is just moving his cart out now. What a drive for Lewis. Those first few laps there, but I mean, he's got a mountain to overcome. And I have to say, Zach Drummond is showing no sign of having any... Um, uh, so if any, they, they are right there's, there's Anthony Jordan, his nice orange top, um, talking to Will Davis. And now, now it's obviously not raining because he's taking his jumper off, or either that, or he's really vain. He doesn't want to be doing an interview on camera. Oh look, he's a bit cold. He's he's regretting taking the orange top off. Uh, Will Davis from Motorsport UK has got the right idea with the the black Motorsport UK coat and grey hoodie arrangement, and. Uh, Look at him. Look at the state of Anthony Jordan. Have you ever, I mean, have you ever seen anything? Just man up, DJ. <laughs> no, I'm only joking. I have to say that I've been doing this, and people that listen into the live stream, I've been commentating on karting for, ooh, best part of 20 years now. Anthony, this is this is the first anniversary of him ever commentating on a proper kart race, so I'm, you know, I'm uh, you know, extremely fond of the young lad and very proud of him. He's doing a fantastic job. He makes more sense than me most of the time, and he's a good laugh when we all make fun of him. He's like a good foil for our practical jokes. And uh, the cameraman, the with the camera, now the, ca the camera, uh, you can see there, you see the camera is very important. That is covered in plastic, so again, very important plastic. Unfortunately, Alpha have given the cameraman a hood to save him, because we know that the camera, camera, camera operatives are dispensable, but uh, the cameras are not. So we're now looking just there at the sea at the end of the army race, the carts now filing out. Drummond, Belofsky and Wolf. Now, I mean, of course, if we can't, unfortunately, if we can't bring you uh, the uh, winners' videos when we do the presentation, then the presentation is not live streamed, but we do film the presentation, and uh, we'll get the winners to get an interview with us there, then, and we'll edit them onto the packages at the end of it. So you will hear from the winners um, at some point, but if not today, then it's going to be um, on the British Championship Facebook page. Look at that. But I mean, what we want to do, I mean, even though we, I mean, I've got to say, we knew the camera wasn't going to work. We just wanted to send Anthony out there in the, in the rain <laughs> to get cold and wet. You've got a comb over there with your hair. That's how wet it is. It's mild. Is it mildly moist and slightly chilly? Uh. Bre breathing, <laughs> breathing heavily on the microphone. Oh, yeah. <laughs> It's uh, uh, it's suboptimal conditions out there. It, it is. Say. I mean, would you, would you would you care to give us a full weather report? I mean, we were lucky enough to watch you out there. Wet, wet, wet. Okay. Uh, KZ two dry or wet tires. Um, sorry, what? KZ two next race dry or wet tires. Wet. Okay. Mini X thirty uh, race afterwards dry or wet tires. Wet. Uh, drive home on the M six for seven hours uh, dry or wet tires. Wet. Lovely. Thank you very much. Next podium celebration is Ayami Cadet, another fantastic race. Finishing as the top privateer, it's Zach Green. Sadly, Zach couldn't make it to the presentation. The leading rookie home did in a fantastic 
Fifth place finish, the leading rookie is Jacob Ashcroft. By there, well then. On to the top three now. We have to say that uh, the fourth place finisher, uh, Noah Wolf, uh, got a penalty, but uh, that was unfortunate. The top three, a fantastic battle all the way through, finishing in third position. It's Ben Smith. <laughs> oh, sorry, Barry. Now, what a battle! these two drivers had coming home in second place eventually it's the championship leader zach drummond always great when you have a brand new winner in the british championship and we have one today i think that fusion are going to get him his own race suit now because your race winner today it's kit bolovsky and his mechanic Alex T. So we need the winning mechanic. Where's Mr. T? I can see the sun shining off his head. There he is. Hey. Now, I'll, I'll remove. Alex, you haven't trained your driver very well. Don't you know that sweets are bad? Right, I'll hand you over to them. Okay. First things first, Kit, yourself, Noah, Zach, that was an awesome battle. Try and talk us through it. Um, don't really know. <laughs> well, I mean, it, it was side-by-side it was -side action. There was, you know, you, it was in terrible conditions. You know, what was it like? Okay, if you don't try the battle, what was it like coming out of the final corner and when you were told you had the win? Bit of both of where nervous and also excited and also with a whole lot of other emotions. Yeah, uh, so well, I mean, you, the season didn't start off too well, but you and Alex have moved over to the Fusion team. You must be happy with your decision. Yes, yes. Congratulations, well done. Your Cadet IARMY winner, Kit Belovsky. Hang on a second, we've got we to we 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 do a full photo with everyone for the, with the caps on for the sponsor. You can get in as well. well oh, sorry, all right, all right, all right. Oh, he's, he's Mason, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. That's a traffic job, hold on. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Is that his name on the set, you see? Yeah, he doesn't want to see the Rodman bit. That's not his name. There we go, that's right, that's right. <laughs> 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 Down a little bit, so I can see you. Down a bit. Down a bit. <laughs> 